All right, guys. Welcome to the show floor of San Diego Comic Con Woo! once again. I am here with a bunch of lovely ladies. Yeah! This is what Ronnie has been teasing hey! for a while, and so we are here. Uh, so first, let's have you all introduce yourselves. Hi. In whatever order I'm, you want. I'm Augie Duke. I, should I tell them who I play or something? Or? Yeah, well, okay, so we're here really talking matter. about your guys' movie, okay. Bad Kids Go to Hell. Yeah. And uh, these are all actresses from the movie. And so, yeah, go ahead and introduce uh, I, your I play, character. We'll talk, we should talk I about what Veronica. the movie is. Yeah. Um, she, she's like the rebellious, like, outsider, sort of. I can't, you know what? I, th I thought she was gone. Okay, hi. We're here for Bad Kids Go to Hell. <laughs> Bad Kids Go to Hell. It's a comedy thriller based off of the comic book of the same name by Matthew Spradlin and Barry Wernick. And uh, they wrote the comic book a few years ago. The movie was filmed about a year ago. And now the film uh, premiered last night at the Comic-Con and is about to be soon at a theater near you. Good job. Yes. That was, that was, by the way, that was better spoken. By the way, don't, don't ever listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, Augie plays uh, one of the leads, Veronica. And tell us a little bit about your character. Didn't I just do that? I, I play sort of like a rebellious outsider. I, I thought I was gothic, but then I watched the movie and I'm not very gothic. <laughs> you should check it out. This is Allie Faulkner. She plays Trisha Wilkes. Trisha Wilkes. She's kind of like the high school um, mean girl with a lot of issues. Uh, Kind of an interesting character. Maybe understatement of the year. This is a lovely. And I'm Amanda. And I'm Amanda. And I play Megan McDurst. She's oh god, can you please? Uh, she uh, she's the um, a little naughty one of the bunch who gets into a little trouble. Usually, she's very prissy and uptight and insecure. Certainly, she's asthma. She's, she's asthma. Asthma. very bad at asthma. <laughs> um. But the, We're the story basically is about, just so you know how it comes together, it's about six private school rich kids who get sent to detention one Saturday and chaos ensues. Um, but it's got a really, a lot of plot twists, uh, really interesting storyline and really awesome characters. The music is amazing. If you're looking for like fun entertainment, but also some really dark, interesting twists, you've got to see it. you got AWOL Nation, which I, I love yeah, AWOL Nation. Music, you know what I, mean? I do, oh, I you do. Have, you have your own mic. I'm a fa I have my own, yeah, I don't need you that You guys mic. want to meet the boys? Uh, yeah, we're going to talk to them in just a okay, second. I, I want to ask you guys a couple <laughs> more questions, though. The music, the music is almost like a character in the film. It's just yeah, so it's cool. <laughs> it's so, um, just, like, edgy and makes the film just really, like, special, I think. So, it's, it's fun. It's a fun film, definitely. So, yeah. It's, it's a fun film. So, <laughs> so how many of you guys are fans of the, uh, of the graphic novel that the, uh, book that the movie was based on? Well... I didn't, really, you know what? I think I, we have to be I'm gonna be, people, right? yeah. I, I have, I have to be honest. I'm not really a big comic book fan, but you just lost all at Comic Con, yeah. <laughs> I love all comic books. I love Spider Man. Um, did I just lose everybody's votes? I love comics. I'm uh, just kidding. No, but I actually really like this comic book. It's pretty kick ass. You guys have to check this out. What? Flip it. Okay, here. Hold this oh yeah, you can flip through. Ready? See some pictures. Flip it. I don't know how to flip it like this. did really like the comic before I shot the movie. I read it before I shot it. I did. I, I read it before I saw it. And uh, and and I was I was actually a really, really big fan of it. I thought it was like really cool and really different. And it's like very like young adult and so um, it like I, I just think it's I think it's a cool, you know, new kind of young young hip Our film, our film, though, is certainly very racy. So, <laughs> uh, the, it's uh, certainly a very racy film in general. Um, so, yeah, but it is fun. So, you guys, what? Do you have any I do. Uh, so, you guys said that the premiere was last night. Uh, yeah. How was the reception? Was uh, it I mean, was amazing. I was surprised. Our party, our after party, was so kick ass. I walked in. I was like, Oh, this is for me. I feel so. <laughs> I feel so special. So it was really cool. We had it in. It was a gym, actually, right? A rented out gym, and it was so cool, man. It was ginormous. I mean, it felt like a big old D 
deal. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. The premiere was awesome. It was really well received. The, sorry. The the uh, the fans, the press, everyone that came out to watch the film and support it, um, just absolutely loved it. Uh, I think it was very well received, and I'm really excited to see it, you know, do its thing in the theater. So, I, th- I think the I think the really cool thing about this movie in particular is that because it comes from a graphic novel, there's already such a cool, amazing fan base that's already there. And last night, I got to meet some of the people that had loved the comic before I even knew what the comic was, and they are just following it uh, to its. You know, to from then until now, and um, so our really our fan base is uh, just so awesome. We, I want to give a shout out to Chanel Ryan too, who plays Miss Gleason. She can't be here right now, so hi, Chanel Ryan. We love you. Thank you for everything. So yeah, yeah. The, no, the fans also, like you said, are, were amazing. They could not stop talking about the film last night. So uh, they were just. I mean, it lived up past their their expectations for you know adapting it off of the graphic novel. So. You guys definitely have to check it out. Yeah. So you guys obviously play a bunch of bad kids, I yeah. assume, by the by the title of the movie. <laughs> so how much of a stretch was this for you guys having to uh, play these roles? Was it really, you know? A stretch? What do you mean by stretch? Aren't we all kind of bad in a way? I mean, like, we're all kind of bad. We all, we all have our anger in us. I think you take something out of it. You're like, oh, I could do that. You know, um, I don't know. I think, these, I think these characters are super relatable in the way yeah. that they're all very, I mean, um, they're, they're like a lot of them are very I mean my character in particular is really insecure and so a lot of the way that she reacts to the world is uh, just like out of so much insecurity and I think like her bad kind of side is you know it's kind of, it's really in everybody I, I'm so to me you know we got to kind of bring out you know the little devil inside of us when we shot it so well, yeah, when you're a teenager, you're unaware of everything. You're kind of, you are insecure because you don't know where you're coming from. You're like, oh, why do I feel this way? So I feel like every character in the film is insecure, and that's why everyone can relate to it because it's not it's not that we're bad. I mean, we are bad kids, but we're, we're bad for reasons that are, like, emotional and internal. Yeah, yeah. So in a way, it's kind of, re- it's really relatable. It's, it's, it is. You see this, you see all these weaknesses in all these characters as the film goes on, which is really cool just to watch all these people yes. develop over it. So Yeah, I mean, the cliche thing to say would be, Oh, it's just fun watching yeah. bad kids. Well, as actors, we, we take on a role. We don't look at it as just like a surface fun thing to play. Yeah. I mean, we try to to go into the reality of it, and that's the reality is that they're, they're all trying to make up for something in their life, and that's why they make these bad choices. But, um, but I will say, at the same time, it was very much a lot of fun to do that because in, in real, uh, the way I always put it in all of these interviews is we try to be the best people we can be. But if you get an opportunity as an actor to release some of those darker sides, everyone has it in them. And uh, you just get the opportunity to do it. You just, you know, it's not something you get to do in real life. So it's kind of like you get to, like, dip into, you know, the dirty pool. But, you know, you don't actually do it in your own life. You're doing it through somebody else's life. And so it's like we get to play, you know, bad kids. You know, that doesn't certainly make us bad kids at all. I think you're actually, yeah, I think you're going to actually like some, like the characters. At first you're going to hate everybody and go, oh my God, everyone's bitches. And then as you see these characters kind of develop, you're going to start to kind of fall in love for certain reasons in each character, I think, because that's what I, I kind of fell in love with all of you in a weird way. Maybe just because I'm working with you guys, I'm sort of in love with them. Well, the producer, Baz, is always like, you know... You're going to hate these characters, and they're such bad kids. I find that everyone ends up loving them because they all they all wish that at one point in their life they could have gotten away with that, you know? <laughs> so, so, yeah, there's that. If we get away with it, I guess you're going to have to, to find watch. that out. Yeah, you're going to have to find out. Um, so what are you guys doing here at Comic-Con? I mean, this. obviously autographs, right? This have you guys been here the fun. whole time? Some, she came in here a couple I days ago. I came here yesterday. Okay. Yeah, and um, super fun. I had a good time. I met some awesome people here. So, But I get to see them today, and I'm so excited. They're, they're so fabulous. We all kind of came in yesterday. Last time we were here like four days in a row, and I was like, ah, that might be a little uh, yeah. too much for me. That's I was beyond tired. And it is a very long time. <laughs> You're like, yes. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's been awesome. I'm very thankful for this this whole process so i think we're gonna meet the guys i hope so let's meet the guys you want to meet the cast of the guys uh i definitely do but uh i just got noticed that are they are we ready to move on over 
You know you just want to watch us the whole time. We have some very good-looking boys in our cast. All right, you guys have to ask a few more questions because they're not quite ready yet. Oh, they're not ready yet. So now we're excited to talk to them. Oh, that's hysterical. All right, so... uh, so you guys just got here. You got here last night, and obviously last you night. went to the premiere. I got here yesterday, but yeah, it was sort of last so night. You haven't had it. time to really have any fun besides, uh, no, besides the party honestly, last night. No, honestly, this is good. I get to just sit and watch. Have you have you got to shake a lot of hands here at your <laughs> booth is, as people come by? Oh yeah. At its best. yeah that's that is it true. Really you can is. just stand on the stand at the wall. I do feel walk. very special right now. Yeah, but you, yeah, you have a whole booth dedicated yeah, to you. Yeah, people coming that's by. because you are special. <laughs> you can see just close up on a shot of my face up there. <laughs> and her beautiful tongue. <laughs> oh, he really is. So are you guys going to be here tomorrow as well? Uh, no. I'm not. You no, are not. I'm not. Uh, we're, All right, that means if you guys want to see these lovely ladies, you got to come here now. Yes, we do. I know. Yeah. So if you're in if you're in San Diego, go and uh, take somebody's badge. Okay, Actually, don't I know. do that. You're not there allowed to do that. There are some good-looking girls and boys at this booth, so I think it's are you a good idea. Yourself? Yourself? I'm not. Are you talking about yourself? I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying I'm, not I'm, saying I'm beautiful. Myself. I'm just saying there are some good-looking people at this booth, and I think it's a good idea to come by. We got the trailer going. Okay, I really. On. Okay, wait. Shh. I really want you to meet the hot boys. So I'm gonna pass it along. Oh, wait here. She's uh she is passing us along to the guys now, so I hope they're ready. So uh, this interview is over. Look, yeah, she. Here you are. They uh they have they have passed it over. You guys, uh, it's time it's go time. They've passed the torch to the the dudes, the guys. What's going on? So let's uh first of all let's have you guys introduce yourself and, and what you do uh what your role is in the movie. Uh, I'm Roger Edwards and I play uh, Craig Cook. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Mark Donato. I play Tarek, or Tarek. They kind of mispronounce the name throughout the film. Here we go. And I'm Headmaster Nash. That's Judd Nelson, guys. No introduction needed. <laughs> All right. So uh, you guys are here uh, doing, giving your autographs to everyone that comes on by. Has it been a lot of uh, a lot of people coming by your booth? Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's been uh, it's pretty pretty packed all day. Good, you know, flow of traffic. It's Saturday. It's a lot of people here. Yeah, this is the busiest day. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. If you notice, my stack right here is the shortest out of everybody. It's because uh, I did notice that. you know I'm asking. getting the most uh, the most interviewed. No, I'm just kidding. I just grabbed a little stack. They actually just f- forgot to print more of his. He's. <laughs> oh, you are so cruel. I know, man. No, I mean this guy. Yeah, we I go back like a Cadillac for flex. You know, people keep coming up to me. You know, they're like, "Oh, I want where, his." On where that. is his stack? I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't let's, know. let's get can something. You, can you pass this black guy? Uh, I think. <laughs> you think if I went, yeah, this is me? <laughs> That's not him. <laughs> I mean, no, you guys look exactly alike. How about that? Once again, exactly alike. I can look like anyone. Before and after. <laughs> or I got to do the, the facial expression. Hey, or, or what do you think about this? You got the facial hair. Oh, they. Oh. You need glasses, though, you need Headmaster Nash. I think that's pretty good. That one? I think this one's the best. All right. You definitely look like a bow tie, guys. Uh, you know, I've never tried a bow tie, but now that you've said that, I mean, now I have to go get a bow tie. Chicks dig it. Chicks do dig a bow tie. Well, not really. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so tell me a little bit about uh, working on this movie and uh, what it was like. I mean, it was, it was intense. Uh, you know, uh, Matthew, the director, you know, he, he, was, he, was, he was a go guy, you know, he made you uh, pull a performance like, you know, you had to, you know, he made sure you got where you needed to be quickly, you know? Uh, that, that, was, that, was, that was intense. Yeah, it, was a, uh, it was a little bit intense to work on. It was, a, it was a fun movie, but it was intense in the aspect because half the time we were actually, most of the time we were filming on a set that was completely wet and drenched because all of the scenes, like the sprinklers were going off. And so half the characters were like completely drenched every single day. So luckily my character wasn't. So I was the only dry one I think out of the whole group. But uh, but no, it was a, it was a fun fun movie to work on for sure. And the the cast was really tight because when I showed up, they'd already been working for a while and uh, they were real supportive of each other. And they came ready. I mean, in a film like this where you don't have a lot of time to waste, you have to come prepared, come ready. It's not a huge fifty million dollar budget. We can do fifty takes. You know what I mean? You kind of you got to nail it. Okay. And uh, all the work uh, by all okay. the people is really strong. It's 
really. I watched the movie for the first time last night. It's, it's a lot of fun. The kids are bad, and they get punished suitably. It's excellent. <laughs> well, I like it. I like the, the headmaster, clearly the one that is happy that they are being punished. Oh, yeah. Miscreants. All of them. And one thing I want to add is when you watch the movie, because, you know, people, we die. And when you die on set, you're dead for the rest of the movie. So that's not fun to be. Like, you're dead in the movie. So, like, you can't, like, you're there, laying there on the wet ground, dead. So that was something else. So you don't like don't like playing a corpse. You'd rather be playing a living, breathing man. Most definitely. Overall. I mean, it's just given the two options. If I had the two options, that's what Even I would do. Even though it's hard to play a dead guy, it's, it's tough. It is. Rigor mortis. Uh, so you mentioned that the, uh, you saw the movie last night at the premiere. I asked the, uh, the ladies what it was like. What was, what was it like for you guys? Uh, it was the second time that I watched I went to the screening over in, uh, in Dallas back in March. Um, they corrected the color a little bit, added some new music. I really, really enjoyed this time. The projector was fantastic. I think that made a huge difference. But uh, got a ton of freaking laughs. The after party was a lot of fun. It's just nice seeing everybody in because really you turn into a family after you work on you know, a movie set for a month. You know, you know everybody by name and you know everyone's business and uh, it's just nice to see everybody again for sure. Yeah, so it must have been nice seeing everyone get to see this movie that you've been pouring all this yeah, work yeah, into. It's a high production value film. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't sense that they didn't have millions and millions of dollars to, to spend on it. It looks like a very expensive movie and uh, it's just tight. Great music. Exciting. Yeah, they were telling me and about how good laughs. the music is. I mean, if you like people who do bad things, you get who, smacked down. And who doesn't? You, like you want to watch this for sure. It's excellent. It's excellent. Uh, everybody that saw the movie yesterday, you know, there was a lot of genuine... People genuinely liked the movie. They really liked what was going on. They were like, man, that was crazy. That was good. That was fun. That was funny. And, uh, you know, it wasn't that thick, oh, it's a big movie, and then it's kind of, you know, it was like, no, like, I really like this one, and oh, this happened, and people were in there, they dug it, you know? It's good stuff. That is cool. So, uh, so tell me a little more about uh, what you guys have been doing, uh, you know, since you finished filming the movie. Like, uh, what, what, what do you got lined up that you can tell me about? Uh, okay. I'm, uh, I just uh, completed a film with uh, Eduardo Sanchez, who's the director of uh, Blair Witch Project. And it's it's uh, Lord of the Rings. It's called Exist. Uh, it's a Bigfoot film. It's going to be handheld. And let's just say Bigfoot is not a friendly POV style, kind of like Blair Witch, but not Blair Witch. But let's just say it's, it's going to be a scary, it's going to be a scary ride. And uh, Captain Phillips with uh, Tom Hanks is coming out in 2013. And that's the uh, story of the Somalian pirates that uh, hijacked the U.S. ship. So, um, yeah, I get to be a part of the people who save Captain Phillips, Tom Hanks. So that's very cool. Well, that sounds awesome. Um, well, after I finished Bad Kids, I, uh, I have Sick Boy that just got released in uh, Germany and actually all of Europe. And it should be coming out here on uh, DVD in North America within the fall, in the next six months. So that's called Sick Boy. And then on August 25th, on Sci-Fi, I got Haunted High coming out with uh, Danny Trejo and Chris Carpenter. And uh, it says Donato is a school's bad boy. So I got that coming out. It's called Haunted High. Um, and uh, yeah, just moved to LA six months ago, so it's in that. Uh, I did a movie called Nurse 3D with um, Katrina Bowers and Paz de la Huerta. And one called Just 45 Minutes from Broadway that Henry Jaglin directed with Tana Fredericks at the Out in October. And then I'm really uh, going to become a headmaster for a school for special needs kids. And uh, I'm going to spank them a lot. It's going to be excellent. <laughs> Well, you've already studied for the job. I mean, once you play a character, you can basically be yeah, that, I mean, right? Not, That's how it I'm works. I'm not an actor, but I play one on TV. <laughs> uh, he's a method actor, you know? He's got to, like, really dig in and, like, feel it, right? When I told my boss I was going to be interviewing Judd Nelson, he said, well, I'm going to kill you if you don't ask him about The Breakfast Club. So uh, you got to tell me what it was like being on that set. Oh, a lot of laughs. It was more like actor camp. Right. It wasn't really, like, work. And uh, I'm really sorry that he's passed away so young because I was hopeful that he would revisit that in some way, shape, or form. But it was really it was a fun movie to make. I thought they were all going to be like that. You know, I didn't know they were going to be mostly like breaking rocks. It's nice, it's nice when uh, movies are organic. Whatever that means. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, organic means that when the uh, actors materialize their internal emotions in the kidding. It's nice when everyone gets along because not all the politics on set. That's what I meant by organic, okay? Thank you. Jesus.
Okay, look, and this is all great and everything, but Bad Kids Go to Hell had some hot girls. You guys already saw them, and that was that was that, that's why it was so hard to work on set. I mean, it's distracting. I'm trying to remember my lines. I'm looking at all these hot girls. I'm like, you know what do I do? And I mean, there's more hot girls in the movie. You know, they're like they're wearing these little schoolgirl outfits, and you know how it is. You know, how am I? Yeah, look, I'm, how are you supposed to work? You know, I mean, you know, come on. You know, that's why Craig Cook had all those issues, man. You know, he was confused. <laughs> No, we're having a good time. We had a good time with the movie. I didn't get into the movie. It's kind of... It's all right. Is that new? All right. So... Well, uh, I tell you, I just like the punishment aspect of the film. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to go. See, I missed the premiere last night. And now, I, after talking to all of you guys, I know. I know. We didn't know, I know this. It's shameful. Oh, oh, oh there, what? That's it. Thanks, Thanks guys. I guess I lost it. <laughs> Well, you guys, uh, look, you're doing, you'll do a special premiere just for me as well, just right? For you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was just, uh, we've got it back here. Maybe we can just uh, go watch the movie. We can reenact it right now if you want. That would be even better. Let's just act the whole movie out. Okay. We've got... Uh, we got to get this to go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, what is it? What you did you stole guys... from the retarded kid? I'm not retarded. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. What's your guys' favorite movie you've worked on? Oh, I mean, you know, I have a, uh, and I, and I know I'm not trying to sound like oh, back kid, but I mean, this is my first lead, so it's all it's like a special project to me. You know, that's uh, like, got to be feel good to work on that. But I mean, it's the, this is that film uh, where you decide whether you want to do this for the rest of your life or whether you want to, you know, go back to not breaking the rocks. And I mean, you know, uh, it was the process was was, uh, was incredible, and I enjoyed it. And that, this movie made me say, okay, this is what I got to do. This is what I want to do, and that's filled you. A movie where you can keep your clothes on, huh? Yeah, usually I, 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 I strip. I used to do that before. It was a uh, Chippendale dancer. Yeah. You get a lot of uh, zipper mask porn. Yeah, those. If you guys, uh, if you guys get off the line right now and go to you porn type it. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> or Pornhub. No, I'm just por, por, how Pick Hunter. Pick, how do you know Pornhub? 89.com. I think he was um, Ving Rhames' his body double in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> but how do I know that he knows Pornhub? <laughs> Nobody got that. <laughs> Um, favorite movie I've worked on. Uh, geez. This one, don't be a knucklehead. This one was great. Actually, no, Back Kids Go to Hell was a fantastic movie to work on. Um, good people. Actually, I'd like to work on, uh, to be honest, I really like the Blue Butterfly because I got to live in Costa Rica for four months. So that was, oh, you that's know, pretty that good. was really nice. I like movies that kind of, you know, you can venture out. But I liked working on Haunted Eye, the one that's on Sci-Fi on August 25th because I was in New Orleans for a month in the French border. So that was awesome. Super, super cool. You've been in 50 movies, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to decide. I've, I've done a couple. A lot of you know, was Paid Forward, Woody Oleander, uh, I don't know. Billy, actually, Billy Madison. Adam Sandler is the shit. So, I was in Billy Madison, yeah. yeah. I played the pudding kid. He was like, I'll change my banana for your snack pack. I was like, you know how badly I can beat you? And that was it. But it was classic. Everyone remembers. <laughs> well, this is uh, Bad Kids Go to Hell. That's clearly the, my favorite movie. Nice. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Just like I'll leave it at that. That's, That's it. Yeah, I like this. This is the best. You asked the question I answered. All right. Uh, well, Judd, I got to know. Uh, have you heard any good jokes lately? I got a joke for you. A naked blonde walks into a bar with a poodle under one arm and a two-foot salami under the other. Bartender says, I guess you won't be having a drink. 